And when you have a story like The Bloodline, which for three years, and I said this in a number of occasions, um, should be nominated for an Emmy Award. Roman Reigns oh. Uh, oh. should be your, 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 your best actor. Uh, Sami what? Zayn, what? Kevin Owens, the Uso, <laughs> Solo Sokoa, Paul Heyman, all these guys should be nominated for But it's not actors. actors. Athletes. They should yeah. win ESPYs, you think. Yeah, best, yeah, best, yeah. Team. Yeah. Yeah. best team. Yeah. Best team, not actor, you're saying? Because the Travel Chief. Whoa. Travel Chief. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Pat, you could make an argument that we could win an ESPY or we could win an Emmy Award because okay. what our guys do is so unique Whoever wants to. to our world. Not only are they tremendous athletes, and, and in my estimation, the best athletes on the planet because they can do things that that so many others can't. But on top of that, they're actors. You have to be an actor. If you watch what Roman Reigns and company did in that tag match in London, it was cinema. It really was. And these guys are tremendous athletes who put it all their bodies on the line every week. But they they're putting together an unbelievable story. Which yeah, the fights are life, every yeah, fight tells its own story. Yeah, story. yeah we understand what right. you're saying. We understand what you're saying. It was mm -hmm. the bloodline thing. Watching along, you know, because getting to be a part of your world and everything you just said about me was incredibly kind. But know that the only reason why I was able to do that is because I had you. You know, because you could literally just save anything I said at any point about anything. <laughs> That's quite a freeing feeling. Yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, here you go. Put this headset on. Uh, you don't need. You don't need to know anything. Yeah, you're right. I agree. I. I me knowing nothing is normally pretty good. Yeah. And then we just go out there, and I am just wide open to say whatever. And there was a couple of times where I think I got a couple of questions asked about why I chose to go in that particular direction. And maybe next time, you know, this particular direction from people that I respect and appreciate through conversations. But everything else was just like, let me go, and you would save me. You don't have anybody to save you, though, pal. So that's why what you're doing is so fucking impressive. You being able to get lost in a moment while being able to keep everything on track is why your brain is a brilliant one. And it's the reason why what they said in The Athletic, even though Connor is certainly a scumbag and has some negative thoughts yeah. about you Whoops. every once in a while, <laughs> Sorry about it. You deserve some sort of award for the work that you've done. Yeah. It is wild that that is not really a possibility, though, because seemingly you don't fall into a category enough to kind of get nominated or to be a part of it. But we want to let you know, as people that watch a lot of fucking people do play-by-play, -play, we do. Mm -hmm. I'm watching fucking Wimbledon over here. Yeah, McEnroe. I was watching tennis over here. We, I watch people call shit. You would have been great in any. You know what I mean? If you would have left Syracuse and decided to go and do sport and start calling sports, you would have been great in all of them, pal. So I like that you're just a redneck fuck that somehow went to Syracuse, <laughs> yeah. has terrible tattoos, loves whiskey, what? and does this whole thing, wears terrible flip-flops, and your, sh your, your toes are disgusting. Oh, gross. They've been on this show. They should not have been on this show. But you, if you were you one of You should see him now. If you were working out. If you were one of those, I couldn't even fathom how disgusting that would be. But if you were one of those hoity-toity journalist people who hadn't gotten an award yet, mm. you'd be bitching about oh, yeah. it. Yeah. And you don't care. Like, you hate that it even gets brought up. That's a cool thing about you. You're super humble. I'm happy people are kind of realizing that with you showcasing who you are. You're the man, Cole. So, you, a lot of people owe you for their careers, too. So, so Pat, good a, a couple of things about that. Listen, I've won a number of awards that matter. Slammy. And those are the Slammy Awards. Yeah. That's right. Hell yeah. That are given to us in our business, in our company. Hell yeah. Good point. They're the only awards that matter to me. But seriously, um, you know, listen, I'm only as good as the team that surrounds me. I'm right. only as good as you sitting next to me All or right. Wade Barrett sitting next to me. Or with it. Don't want the bullshit but, but, answer. But Pat, here, this, and this I mean from the bottom of my heart because I've been in this company for 26 years. How WWE has yes. not won an Emmy Award for... Forget 52 weeks a year of Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown, NXT, scripted television, no repeats. Forget the unbelievable award-winning documentaries that our team does uh, each and every week. Um, a guy like Chris Chambers who has been doing this for over 30 years and putting together some of the greatest documentaries that this business has ever seen and the television business has ever seen. But let's talk about uh, never winning an Emmy Award for WrestleMania. Whoa. That, that even event is absolutely incredible being being able to put on a, a premium live event like we do now over two days on a weekend um cannot be matched or duplicated by anyone in the television business it just can't when you look at the amount of production that goes into that 
When you look at the work that our executive producer, Kevin Dunn, directors like Marty Miller do, our camera guys, uh, our backstage production people, pyrotechnics, the studio people who put together incredible packages. And on top of that, the best athletes on the entire planet. And we haven't won an Emmy Award yet. That's a crime. And that's why I don't give a damn about any of these awards. They don't matter because they're not being given to people that actually deserve it or have like earned that. it. Hey, I like so that. So I don't goal. care. I like that from you. I, I genuinely do because I did not know that. I would assume with how many relationships the WWE has in the business of television and entertainment, you would think at some point somebody would want to, yeah. you know, be like, yeah, hey, right. we give awards to a lot of terrible shit. So You guys have this. That's crazy to me. You taking that angle of giving a shout out to everybody over there is such a you thing to do, obviously. But that team over there is fucking awesome, to your point. When I get a chance it's unbelievable. to... It's unbelievable. The, the, dudes, the, though, the, they're cool, yeah. Cole. Yeah. Fucking cool humans who are just like you, like don't expect shit. Could be the jadedness because you, you know, kind of feel like you're outlaws, yeah. kind of outside the entertainment business. They don't acknowledge us. They don't give us any of our awards. They can't do anything we can do. Look what we've been doing for 30 years. How long has this run been? Oh, I mean, the company obviously started in 1960. I mean, you can go back to the 1980s. Raw, though. And, How, and, long's raw? Yeah. How long's Raw? How long's Raw? Raw was 1993. So... Damn. It's what forty years this year. Yeah. So you know, thirty years. Ninety three. Yeah. No, two thirty years. Thirty years. Yeah, I'll do back. the math. You do the journalism. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> thirty. It's been thirty years. It's, listen, working here, it seems that long. Dog years. Yeah, but everybody that's there has been there forever. It's a family yeah. over there, bro. It actually is. And whenever we were able to get back into it, you know, Royal Rumble was awesome. So I couldn't sweet. wait to get there. I couldn't wait to get in. Couldn't wait to meet everybody. Had a plane delay. Almost didn't make it. Literally landed as the thing yeah. started. Yeah. Go from plane to uh, San, San Antonio. Yeah, right? San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. yeah San Antonio. Right Alamo. into the thing. The Alamo. And there's fucking humans everywhere. <laughs> and then WrestleMania, I'm sitting in a bus mm -hmm. for 10, 10 hours. 10 hours, yeah. 11 hours. <laughs> and then bang, right out into a stadium filled with people. But then afterwards, both those things, getting to see everybody, a lot of the people you mentioned, and then obviously more of the boys back there. God. Fucking love your business, dude. You guys have done a really good job. We'd give you an award, wouldn't we? Yeah, hundred percent. Hey, we'd like to we, first award. How about this? <laughs> yeah, first. Ever. First award in the history of this show, mm -hmm. the PMSE. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. The WWE <laughs> is the only nominee, and they are the uh, generational award winner. Wow. For inspiration, consistency, hard what? work, what? and fuckery. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, well, there WWE. You go. Wow. First ever PMSE. <laughs> Let's go. First ever PMSE. I accept it. I, I accept on behalf of everyone in the organization. There's going to be some you know, people that are not going to be happy about right. that. Jeez. There's going to be some people that. <laughs> What's been cool, though, Pat, is, you know, seeing the growth of the company over the, over the last number of years and seeing the fact that we're finally starting to get our flowers a little bit as a company, right? Uh, listen, professional wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it, isn't for everybody. Uh, it's a niche genre. Uh, we have a, a very loyal fan base of people, two and a half million, three million people every Friday night, what? two million people every Monday night, millions and millions watching, you know, uh, our premium live events on Peacock. But at the end of the day, over the past number of years, the company is really starting to take off now and starting to be recognized as the global leader in entertainment that it is. And I mean, there's so many people that have come on board over the past decade that have helped us get there. And, um, you know, it feels really cool to finally see, see us, especially with what went on with the, you know, the sale and the possible sale now, if it goes through with Endeavor and, um, you know, obviously our TV rights are coming up. It's just really cool to yeah. see all kinds of different um, companies uh, being involved and wanting to get involved in our in our product. What was uh, what you say? There? You said something there. Great answer. You're right. Shout out WWE. Oh, yeah. Respect, respect. A lot of great people over there. Well, we're getting sold to Endeavor, and it's not official for a couple of months. You know that. You're a business guy. I very much, I very much understand that. But the way you phrased it <laughs> was also a way that I would understand if it was. A, you said possible sale. I guess it does have some stuff to still be worked out, regulations and shit, wow. which is always going to take exactly place when there's billions of dollars right. at True. stake. But also, you talk about the global entertainment thing. You guys are everywhere, bro. I I was in uh, where are we? We're in L.A. Yep, L.A. And I'm walking across the street from the hotel I'm in, Burbank. I'm in Burbank. Uh, we walked to go get a coffee, you know, trying to wake up a little bit. How you doing? Nice morning. Like a month after Mania. Lady from uh, Poland? Yeah, uh, pianist from... Uh, somewhere. Ooh. Somewhere over there. Massive WWE fan. Yes. Stopped me because massive. That You guys are 
everywhere in the world. It is very fascinating to see how it's grown, where it is, and where it can possibly go.